Hello, Hastefest here. I have been working in AutoHotKey to come up with a cycle. A cycle is like a revolver. Every time you press the key, it will do one action or a couple of actions, depending on what you specified. In the revolver that I made, or the cycle that I made, when I uh, each press of my key will swap both my main hand and my off hand. Okay, so in my inventory, I have six weapons. Okay, I have two in my hands and I have three backup weapon sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right, so we're going to go into my Stelter script, which is where I've been working out out of this. So I pull up the Stelter script here. You can see it's the Eden Stelter version three. I will update this on my Google Drive for you. If we scroll down to the weapon swap section, let me zoom in here for you. You can see that each one of my key presses for my weapon swaps has a semicolon in front of it, which makes it invisible to my auto hotkey script. So if I were to press six, seven, and eight here, nothing would happen. However, I have taken my six key, since it's no longer recognized in the weapon swap section, and moved it to my weapon cycle section. So now when I press six, what's going to happen is it's going to fire off send CK. So the weapon cycle works like this. When I press six, it's going to send the first line, which is send CK, which is my main hand and my off hand in slots one and two in my inventory. When I press six a second time, it will then fire off this string, which is OY, which is my three and fourth weapons in my inventory. And then when I press it a third time and the final time, it will send GJ, which is my five and six slot here in my inventory. So um, once it gets to the third key press down here, it will then reset back to zero, meaning that the cycle will begin again up top. So that's how the weapon cycle works, okay? This is not a loop, this is not a delay, this is nothing that's automated. This is a manual cycle, okay? So you can use this when you're buffing people, you can use this when you're uh, you know, swapping weapons, you can use this on like a caster for a DPS rotation. I don't recommend that because you want a little bit more um, flexibility in your casting potential when you're a caster. But uh, yeah, this is what a cycle is and whatever you guys can figure out what to do with it. Uh, I had a guy that wanted it for buffs. I've had a guy that wanted it for weapon swaps. So I'm just kind of showing you what I've discovered and how it works. Let's take a look at it in game, okay? So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna hit Shift Q and I've poisoned all my weapons. If you look to the left there, you can see that whole thing just a whole bunch of stuff, right? So now if I look at my weapons, you can see that all of them have a charge at the bottom. So look at my weapons, on my last weapons, they're all, they all have charges, okay? So my poison script, I've gotten it to 100% accuracy on Eden. So let's see what the cycle looks like in game, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump my poisons on the first attack. Okay, it's been diseased, it's been poisoned. Now I'm gonna hit my six key. You can see in the slots here, on I've swapped to my uh, Soul Glimmer and my Moment of Zen, which I have four copies of these weapons. I attack it again. You can see that it resisted the poison and then it poisoned it. So now it's been poisoned a second time. All right, so now I'm gonna hit six again. It goes to my third and fourth weapon set. And now you can see that my poisons are again it's poisoned, it's weaker. I hit six again, it goes to my fourth weapon set, and then I attack it, and you can see that it's poisoned again. So this is what a cycle looks like. So instead of having to press six, seven, and eight on my stealther, I can just press six, and I'll get a fresh set of weapons with poisons, and I can dump them on the enemy if I'm fighting them. So again, just shift Q, poisons all my weapons. Stealth, go on in, perf, six, four, Six, two, six, two. I just dumped eight poisons on an enemy across eight weapons in four seconds.
Now, is that practical? No. Did I do it just to show you it can be done? Yes. So technically, you could perf one person, swap weapons, creeping death a second person to stun them, swap weapons, go back to target one, kill them, swap targets and go back to target two, kill them. Okay? Let's see if I can do that here on these dummies, just to show you what that looks like, because hell, auto hotkey is ridiculous, why not prove it, right? Perf on somebody, like so, switch weapons, creeping death, switch weapons, switch weapons, like that. So let's try that one more time. So, all right, we've poisoned our weapons, let's go in. So, three, six, four, six, two, six, two. Boom, there it is. I just dumped eight poisons on two enemies, perfing the first, stunning the second, poisoning the first, killing the second. Just like that. Pretty crazy. Hey guys, HazeFest back here, doing some more cycle stuff for you. So, I'm on my baby fryer, and I decided I would try to use this with buffs to see what that would look like. So, what I've done is I've put my fryer self buffs, just for a test, onto this cycle script and I'll show you what I've done here. This is just for the baby fryer. We will move this on over so y'all don't have to worry about all that. So what I've done is I've taken the same script that was on my nightshade stuff. I've modified it to control Z. When I press control Z, it will fire off the first thing, which is control one. And then the second time I press it will be control two. The third time will be control three. Same for four, five, and six. So basically I've just taken this whole hot bar at the very bottom and I've turned it into my cycle script for the fryer. So now that I've been playing with cycles, I just wanted to make sure that it works for both weapon swaps as well as buffing because that's the two things that people have asked me to do. So that's what I have done. So let's go ahead and remove the script from the screen so you don't have to look at it anymore. And then, boom. Let's see what it looks like in game. So I press Control Z and let's see what happens. Buff one, Control Z. Buff two, Control Z. Control, uh, control Z, fourth buff, Control Z again, fifth buff, Control Z again, sixth buff, boom, just like that. And if I wanted to press Z again, Control Z, it would then just replace my first buff. So yeah, pretty cool. The buff cycle works. So I'm using Control Z to do a manual revolving buff loop. So this is not a automation, this is a manual. I do one key press, it does one thing. Okay, so this isn't a cheat, this isn't a hack, this is a quality of life kind of thing. And uh, I discovered it, so I wanted to share it with you. So here it is, Cycles. Works for buffs, works for weapon swaps, and yeah, pretty cool. Auto hotkeys nuts if you go nuts with it and I just wanted to show this to you because I thought it was interesting I thought it was cool I learned something new I hope you learned something new um, so yeah pretty cool stuff cycles y'all have a great day I'm Hayes Fest catch you later